Well, good evening. I have a read called Dearly Departed. And this is definitely a read concerning narcissism. So if I pause or be like, huh? I'm dealing with a narcissistic group. So, of course, they play games and things like that. And, you know, want you to know, but don't want you to know. So this is a read on narcissists and oh, this is a group of narcissists so you'll see <laughs> so you're facing truth the hardest truths about yourself mirror mirror on the wall like you got a chance to see yourself stunning emotional growth exactly domestic violence right textbook narcissist correct highly manipulative i mean you are a narcissist watching <laughs> playing peekaboo right i see you right same way you see me Yeah, you're hiding in the shadows. But it was only a matter of time before, you know, you wanted to speak up, talk with me. <clears throat> Possibly get caught by me, I don't know. But, hello, welcome. I see you. Not right now, but I mean, you know. You're taboo as ever, but what are you? Right, a narcissist. All right. All of y'all playing follow the leaders, a whole big group too. Like, ain't no way in the world you guys hang together. There is no way. You want to talk about the valley of the shadow of death, huh? What's up with that, dearly departed? Hmm? You're continuously in a uh, distraction and an interruption for a person. <clears throat> And why is that? Why are you continuously a pain in the, to a person? Because you feel that you can, of course. Right. What are you? A narcissist. Right. Right. You feel like you can take, do, whatever you want. Right. Take, do, give. Right. Whatever you feel like doing. So... Currently, you want to talk, partake in spiritual lessons, but that's just so you can uh, come up with some new scam scheme and increase, I mean, uh, improve some type of craft that you've come up with to uh, trap people up. You know, you are narcissistic, of course, but you also want to get yourself caught up in some stuff too, right? Right, shakeups occurs and occur in your lives as well. Um, right. What's up with these dramas? What's up with this black man? You said forget that healthy anger. In the depressive state, daily departed. We got mommy issues. You had childhood traumas. And that's why you have these addictions. I mean, you're narcissistic. The criteria is some heavy, heavy stuff to be narcissistic. So, all of this is to be expected. <clears throat> you got your sex addictions going right now. Persistent negative behaviors. You guys are in your manic phase, but doing depressive stuff. So it's becoming highly toxic because you're not finding any satisfaction, right? No satisfaction whatsoever in what it is you are doing. And that's why all of you narcissists in this group are into all of this um, high energy a high octane stuff that's taking place in America right now because you're in a manic phase but doing depressive stuff your mind is like but your body is like right you're not moving but your mind is on a thousand you're in a rubber without a cause and it's not getting you anywhere your testosterone is just too high it's testosterone is too high. Narcissists, you know, you have high testosterone levels. I don't know if physically you do, but I'm saying 
um, figuratively you do because women I don't know if, I don't know statistics on it. I'm gonna have to look into that so I don't know if your testosterone levels go high but women who are narcissists are in a masculine mode because they're on that pursuit murder death kill you know because um, our narcissists don't commit murders and stuff like that they just right but figuratively they're murder death kill I gotta get you I gotta tear you down I gotta discourage you right and then let's play again right so dearly departed You definitely aren't adjusting to anything. You've got these addictions, these sex addictions, voyeurism taking place, watching all these pornos, having mixed emotions. Everything is like churning in you. It's like a ice uh, when you're making homemade ice cream, the way it's churning, that, that thing churns. Say you have an electric one, and it's, it's just churning and churning and churning. That's what you're doing inside your body. Your mind, your spirit, everything. It feels like you're making ice cream within yourself. So you're cold and mushy, right? Cold and mushy, you know, but then getting slushy, then getting harder, and then, you know, you're still movable because you haven't been put in the freezer. So you still, you know, are moldable and movable, but you're so sluggish now. You're not trying to do anything, but sit in that spot if you can. You don't want to move. Dearly departed. Your mother also is part of troubles. Your troubles. So, of course, you're narcissist. Narcissistic. So, you have trouble with females, period. Even if you are a female yourself, you still have trouble with females. And you're also manipulative. With sex favors, right? You got this criminal sexual history. So, I don't know what it is you're doing to get sex. But you're definitely not on up and up. This particular group. You're not on up and up for getting sex. So you must spend a lot of time buying prostitutes. And strippers who will, you know, chill out in that champagne room with you. So you have a lot of parasitic attachments to you that you yourself are ready to discard. But you've been discarded first by someone that you genuinely felt was a, um, a great source. Hmm. And it has you discombobulated. You're all like, you feel broken up. This is a different feeling for you. Because you were discarded by a great source. Usually, you discard the source, but you were discarded by a great source. So you don't, like I said, you feel like that mushy ice cream. That's like... Right. You went from doing this, eh, right, doing this. And, you know, eventually it starts freezing. And I was like, that's you on the inside. Your mind, but your mind is still doing this, right? And that's your body and your soul. Mentally and physically. Emotionally. I mean, uh, emotionally and spiritually, that's your body. Mentally, you, <laughs> yeah, you, you, your mind is going haywire. Your addictions are... They have you acting very childish. Very, very childish. Um, even, for, for, <laughs> even for yourself. Like I said, this is a strange time for you because you miss that person that left you. Like, you don't understand that emotion of that source that left you. So you're asking yourself, was that love? Mm, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It was something that doesn't really need to be explained because it didn't take place, so don't harp on it. But of course you will, you're a narcissist. 
you overused your source. That's why your source was able to cut you off because your source was strong and you overdid it with your source. So your source had no problem with walking away. Your source has responsibilities, some serious, serious responsibilities. So they did not have time to play with you in the first place. You're not the type of narcissist to kill. This group is not the type to kill. So your source had no time to play with you because they have serious responsibilities like young children, a home, you know, something like that, where they have to, you know, be truly, truly responsible in their life. They cannot play these games. So they weren't trying to go through what you were trying to put them through in the first place. They seen it and they were like, uh-uh, I already see the cracks. It's too early. They set stipulations with you. You, as a narcissist, play the game and then you overstep, you know, your bounds. You start disrespecting boundaries. And this person said, no, I already been here, done that. And I have major, major responsibilities. I do not have time for any type of weirdo stuff to take place in my life. Because I got too much going on. And I have to cultivate things within my life. And that needs me to be mentally, physically, and emotionally strong. So there's no way I'm going to deal with you and your cult mind yourself. Right? Mm. <clears throat> no way. So what you can do is go in and remove yourself from me at this current time. Because it's a total loss. Right? Nothing can be gained from hanging around me. Because I already see that you are in devilish energy. I already know that how did that switch up? <laughs> there is, okay, so somebody's saying you're in devilish energy. They already know what's going on with you and they are no longer interested in being around you. So these are the people who have caught you being oh, okay, that's right. That's right. I'm sorry. No, because I, sometimes I think about a bunch of things at once and that's exactly what I did. So the person, you know, that you were dealing with, your, your your mate said, nah, I'm not dealing with this. They caught you. They saw you. They have great responsibilities. They're not with no chameleon type of stuff. They not trying to hear none of these new, wild, and uh, uh, what's that stuff called? Well, you know, those, those new wave ideas. They ain't trying to hear none of that new wave stuff. Because like I said, this person has some serious responsibilities. So it's a dead-end situation trying to change them. They have walked away from you anyway, so it really don't matter to this person what you think, what you feel, what you say. Because they had no feelings for you. So that made it even easier to walk away. There was no feelings involved. I mean, you were brand new, but for you, you know, it's source. It's a brand new source, so you went crazy over it. But this person didn't go crazy over you, not at all. So you made it easy for them to walk away by acting like, you had no type of home training yourself. Like I said, this person is not dumb. They seen everything you were doing. Only you were fooling yourself. You weren't fooling that person. So they are, they were able to peep your game early, keep an eye on you, and make the decision that, no, uh -uh. This, is, this is not where it's at. And I'm about to remove myself from that situation because every time I look at this person, they're different. They don't remember who they're telling me that they are. Because apparently they got a whole heck of a lot going on. And I'm not just the only person that's in this situation either. There must be other people involved. So your source was able to walk away from you. They're narcissists, right? Your source was able to get away. And she said, your source, excuse me, not she, but your source said, please, stop thinking about me. Move ahead. You're thinking so hard about them that this person is dreaming of you and they can feel it. So they had to block all of that out and take a look at themselves and see where they're open spiritually to where they can know that your narcissist is behind this studying, is, is, is meditating on them so heavily, thinking about them so hard, trying to recreate an attachment. So you must, uh, your narcissist, of course, so why wouldn't you try to black magic? Why wouldn't you use that? If you want to get someone who walked away from you before you had a chance to use them up and discard them. Right. You feel like you're just not measuring up to your narcissist. Yes, you're not measuring up. Right. And you are in your, your manic phase with that. With that part. That's what's making you manic. 
because you can't get over how you lost your source. Your source left you. You didn't get a chance to discard it. So your mind is like, I know, doggone, but how in the world, right, you feel the ghost of the play? <laughs> I know you not, and that's the game you play all the time, dear narcissists. Well, that's how it goes. That's what happens, right? This is your revelation. You don't mess with people like that. You end up getting your feelings hurt, right? Well, that was it. That's it. No more. So, dear narcissists, go ahead and enjoy this read. I see you about to have you some rum. And call up one of your shorties so she can, whatever, did he, I mean, excuse me, so she can <laughs> get all up on you, right, so she can get all up on you, right, get dizzy on you, right, so you have a good evening, or night, because it's nighttime, bye-bye.